Even though we specialize in training materials for the professional woodworking industry, we know that our techniques can benefit anyone. Take full advantage of this by signing up at woodproacademy.com. There you'll get full access to this tutorial, but you'll also get the full project downloads. You'll greatly accelerate your learning if you work along with the video. So go sign up at woodproacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your video. And we'll see you soon. So direct select just means that I'm, I'm going to click where I want to move or copy an object. Instead of typing in the exact distance I want to move, I'm just going to use my mouse and I'm going to click where I want it to go. All right, first example. I'm going to grab this cabinet section and I'm going to make two copies of it to the right. So I've selected my objects, right click Y, starts my copy command, and I'm just going to, I've got ortho on, I'm just going to pull to the right, and I'm going to click. Twice, make two copies. Now I'm going to, you see I have three cabinet sections with no countertops. I've got three types of countertops. I'm going to move each type to a section. So I'm grabbing objects, right click M. I'm going to choose this very bottom back part of the countertop and position it directly on top of my cabinet. Do that two more times. Right click M. I'm using snaps to grab exactly where I want. And I'm also using snaps to place it exactly where I want. A lot of zoom. Okay. Moving on. Now this one I'm going to I'm going to grab I'm going to start my copy command. I'm going to grab this cabinet right here. Cuz I don't want to place it in about the right spot, right? I want to place it in exactly the right spot. And then finally, we're going to uh, do a copy with a base point. This is very similar to the Windows uh, copy command, Control C. You know, you can cut and copy and paste text in a Word document. Well, AutoCAD, you know, we can copy objects. But I'm going to do Control Shift C, which is going to give me the option to specify a base point. It's important to specify that base point so that I can take advantage of object snaps. Let's select our objects control shift C command line says specify base point so I'm going to choose this bottom left hand corner again I'm going to hit escape now when I'm ready to paste it in place I'm going to do control V again that's a Windows common Windows command I'm just going to hit control V over and over till I'm done when I paste it in you can see it you can see the cur the cursor, the crosshairs. They're they're at that base point that I specified. So whenever I click to paste it, it's going to be right there. Well, we hope you benefited from this quick tutorial. Uh, don't forget that you can go sign up and get access to this full tutorial and many more. It's free for now, so be sure you head over there and take full advantage of this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon at woodproacademy.com.